Hello, this is a fresh install of Windows 10. Check out the RAM cache. And this one is a fresh install of Tiny 11 Builder. Check out that RAM cache. And if you stay at the end, I think you'd be impressed by the startup speed as well. This is Windows 10 running on a Microsoft Surface Pro 4. I'm going to put on Tiny 11 Builder, which is a lot safer than just getting the Tiny 11 ISO and putting it on. This one, you have more movement in what you want to do and what you want to take off. NT Dev has made a little program called Tiny 11 Builder, which is a lot safer than actually just downloading the Windows Tiny 11 ISO off the internet when someone else has actually done what they want to do to it. In this program, you sort of do what you want to do with it. You download the Windows from Microsoft, the ISO itself, and then you use the program. The link for this site will be in the description below. Once you've downloaded the file, then you need to download the ISO of Windows 11. By clicking the link, it'll take you to Microsoft page, where you choose the download now. Once you have it downloaded and the Tiny 11 build program, which we have here, you need to mount your Windows 11. And check what drive it's actually put it on. Mine is E. And then we're going to Tiny 11 Builder. Then we need to run as administrator. It's going to ask you what drive you put it in. Mine was E. So once you do that, it's going to then ask you which Windows version you want. Mine is 6, but it's got all the different Windows. And then you best leave it for a bit. It takes, I've speeded this video up, but it does take a bit to actually do. While it's actually doing this, you'll actually see the, the bloat where it's actually removing. And then it goes on and actually makes a brand new iOS ready for you to install on your Surface Pro or any other computer laptop you want to do it on. Once done, the program makes a, actually its own little well, Tiny 11 ISO and that's your image now. So with Rufus, and I'm going to use an 8 gig USB pen on this, we're going to select that image that's just made. and make a bootable Tiny 11 builder on this pen. Just make sure everything's right. And if he's using a Surface Pro 4, definitely take this one. Just let that make the image and then just do what you normally do to install Windows onto the Surface Pro. On my channel I've got a few videos that actually show you Windows 11 on the Surface Pro and the boot up time is very slow. This here is coming in at 10 seconds which I think is great. It runs very well on a Surface Pro 4 and this is the first install and everything is what is needed. All the bloatware is gone, but you can still get all your updates. So it's best to get the updates straight away. So if you are looking to put Windows 11 on a Microsoft Surface Pro 4, then I would definitely use the Tiny 11 Builder as it's safer plus you download the ISO yourself, 
So you know sort of what's going on or what's getting taken out and what's getting put into it. But it does feel a lot better than putting a Windows 11 full build on here. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would help. Thank you.